Hey guys, what's going on? This is always back with another video of Java Central Training Series. So this video, we're going to talk about interface. So what are the interface in Java programming language? Okay, so an interface is a reference type in Java. It is similar to a class. It is a collection of abstract method. A class implements an interface, thereby inheriting the abstract method uh, of the interface. Okay, so what does that mean? We have the class here, a main, and a main method here. So let me show you how you can make an interface in IntelliJ IDEA, and then we will go through with it what are the uh, things we're going to talk about interface, all right? So right click here, new Java class. Here, you can change that to interface, okay? And then name it, let's say, A. So now we have interface A. So the keyword interface before the name of the class or interface if you type interface that's going to be an interface okay all right along with the abstract methods an interface may also contain constraints default methods static methods and nested types method bodies exist only uh, for default method and static methods okay so let's create a wide and i'll name it b okay and then void, let's say, oops, I made the mistake, C, and void D. All right, so we have three methods, right? These are abstract methods, because I just said that before, that is a collection of abstract method, but it can contain default methods, static method, and nested type as well. But the method, uh, the method bodies exist only for default methods and static methods, okay. So let's say this is an abstract method now, okay? We don't have to type abstract method. So if I type abstract here, it's gonna get grayed out. So modifier abstract is redundant for interface method. So you don't have to type abstract because we already know, the Java already know this is an abstract method because it's in the interface, okay? All right, so if I try to type a body of it, so s out hello YouTube, it is going to give me an error. Let's hover over the cursor. So not allowed in interface. So interface, either they can have uh, uh, methods, abstract methods, or if you want to type a body, the method has to be static or default. Okay. So let's look at that now. So let me just get rid of this and this as well. All right. So these are all the abstract methods. And then if you want to type a body in it, so you need to make it static, static. Okay. And then now if I hover my cursor, static method interface should have a body, okay? So get rid of the semicolon, come down, add a add block, and then S, S out, and let's say hello YouTube, okay? So now it's not gonna give us error. So we need to have a default or static method to have a body in interface. All right, oops. okay, let's get rid of this body now. And we're gonna get rid of this static word. And then add a semicolon. All right. So let's go to the next up. When writing an interface is similar to writing a class, but a class describes the attributes and behaviors of an object. And an interface contains behaviors that a class implements. Okay. Well, I will explain that with example in a second. Well, as long as, uh, okay, let's go to the next step. An interface is similar to class. Okay in several ways okay so an interface can contain any number of methods as we can see that we have three methods here an interface is written in a file with a dot java extension on the top you can say a dot java that's a file extension there okay the bytecode of an interface appears in dot class file so we have dot class file what we're going to create let's say I need to implement that interface into a class. I'll talk about that, okay? Just uh, give me a second, okay. So interfaces appears in packages and their corresponding bytecode file must be directory structure that matches the package name, okay? So, however, an interface is different from class in several ways. So what are the things that are different than class in interface, okay? So you cannot instantiate a method Oh, sorry, instantiate our interface. Let's go to our main class, and if I want to uh, instantiate that, so we have that wide method B, right? So if I want to, if I try 
making uh, let's say a and I will say uh, let's say obj is equal to new and I'll say B all right so now let's have a look what is the, can I resolve the symbol let me like look at the matter name B okay we're gonna change that to a actually my bad okay all right so now oops we have done it okay let's get rid of this code this is getting a bit annoying okay so now if I hover uh, a is abstract cannot be instantiated all right as you can see that next all the methods in an interface are abstract so these methods are abstract because uh, we can't instantiate them okay in the main class or any other class we have to implement that interface and then we can access those methods so all methods are abstract in interface so an interface cannot contain instance field the only field that can appeared in interface must be declared with both and study that's what I've shown you before an interface is not extended by a class it is implemented by a class okay we'll look at that we will look at that in a second as well so an interface can extend multiple inter uh, interfaces as well so let me just get rid of that all right let's just fix up the tabulation here so let's go and new Java and I'll try B here and let's say interface and then here I would say interface B extends A all right so we can have we it can extend uh, the other interface as well let me get rid of that for now okay all right so next how to declare an interface that's what I'm showing you public interface name code block and the methods in it all right so next interface have the following properties now okay so interface is important implicitly abstract you do not need to use an abstract method keyword while declaring an interface okay so we did not have to let's say abstract right and now it's going to give us error that abstract is redundant for interface because it's already an abstract okay next methods in instruct are implicitly public okay so if they are public methods okay but we cannot access them directly all right so next uh, now I'm going to give you an example basically okay so we have the main class there we have interface a here okay so let's uh, add some uh, let's add another class here and then we will implement this interface to that class okay so right click Java class let's have it fun okay and now I'm going to use the keyword implement a okay all right so now come down here now it's giving us an error let's have a look at that so class fun must be either declared abstract or implement abstract method so we need to have all the methods available in the interface to get it worked properly because we're implementing a now all right so now let's say public void and I would say B all right come down here and then add as out let's say hello YouTube please subscribe okay let's go down now and then add the second method public wide C all right let's add a code block and then s out and then say hello uh, I hope you enjoying Java course all right let's get out from here public wide and then D all right add a code block and then s out let's say this is is a interface video tutorial okay so now once I've declared uh, every ver uh, method available in interface now the error gone away okay so we can use the methods now okay and now I can go back to my uh, main class all right and then I will create an object so fun okay obj is equal to new 
fun that's done and let's use the obj and i'll call it dot so we have three methods available here b c d okay but say b it is going to print out hello youtube please subscribe let's look at it okay all right hello youtube please subscribe okay now you might be thinking that why use an interface what are the benefits for interface an interface is a contract of what the classes can do when a class implements a certain interface it provides implementation to all the abstract method declared in the interface interface defines a set of common behaviors the classes implements the interface agree to these behaviors and provide their own implementation to the behavior this allow you to program at the interface instead of the actual implementation one of the main uses of interface is to provide a communication contract between two objects if you know a class implements an interface then you know that the class contains concrete implementation of the method declared in that interface and you are guaranteed to be able to invoke this method safely in other words two objects can communicate based on a contract defined in the interface instead of their specific implementation so that was a quick tutorial about interface and i tried my best to explain to you the concept of interface a difference between interface and abstract uh, class is not much difference but if you still have any question let me know in the uh, comments below you can follow me on twitter as well uh, you can ask me questions there um, i just want to mention here that if you didn't get the concept don't worry i'll be starting a project based tutorials on java um, in, in really soon so stay tuned with the channel and uh, don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching guys and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers